we are making tuna biryani. Biryani is an Asian dish which is made from the basmati rice with some spices and people use beef and chicken for the biryani but my recipe is a little bit different because some vegetarians and some fish lovers love the fish biryani so I will be using two tuna tins one and a half small size or medium size onions and one tomato Baspati rice it is two cups of basmati rice and I will soak it in water that water I will make the tuna so I have soaked the rice meanwhile these are soaked I will put them somewhere aside for half an hour and meanwhile when they are soaked I will boil water so I can put my rice in the boiled water and boil my rice this you will put three times more water to boil the basmati rice I am using two cups of rice so I will be putting six cups of water six cups of portable water from the dispenser six cups of this and I will put my salt one teaspoon of salt I've already put it in there and this is the second one so two teaspoons of salt that's it let the water boil meanwhile our rice are soaked basmati rice remember this so as soon as the water starts boiling we put the rice and boil the rice so when the rice is three fourth done you're gonna strain it i have boiled the rice and now i'm straining the water from rice i have put two tablespoons of oil here and my oil is on the fire i'm going to put for my biryani is star anise we put it in the oil I have put star anise in oil and besides that I'm going to put one bay or you can in Turkish we call it daphne leaf green three green cardinals one black cardinal some sticks of cinnamon, three to four cloves, some whole black pepper. I'm going to put, put all this stuff into my oil and let it be there for some time because I put it early so I can have some taste in it. Now oh, I'm going to put onions and tomatoes. Together. And now I have moved my stuff to a high flame now. After putting onion and tomato. See the onions and the tomatoes are on high flame. So I'm going to put one teaspoon red chili powder. Three fourth salt one fourth turmeric half teaspoon of the karam masala by the way you can get all these stuff from any Asian store half teaspoon of coriander powder and half teaspoon of cumin powder 
So I'm going to put all this stuff into my onion and tomato, which is already frying on frying on high flame. I'm putting one small teaspoon of ginger garlic in it. And then I'm going to put all my masalas, everything here. Now where is my tuna? Bring the tuna. Meanwhile, it's almost done. Now I'm going to put, I'm, I'm going to lower the flame. The flame is lowered now. I'm going to put my tuna in it with the oil. Because I'm using the tuna with the oil. And we are going to move it down. For 2% biryani, tuna biryani, we are using 2. Tuna fish in oil. So you can see the tuna fish in oil. And now you will move it around until the oil is evaporated and it's well fired. You can see that our tuna is well fried now. You cannot see any tomato. So once it's ready, we will take it out. We will take our tuna stuff out and we will make the layers of oil. Put the rice, boiled rice, and then a layer of tuna. And again the rice, boiled rice, over the tuna. So we have one layer of rice, then tuna, and then the rice again. Now I'm going to add some yellow food color in it. We will let it sit on low flame for 15 to 20 minutes. Mars and Stripers, please do remember to like and subscribe my channel. We are going to mix our tuna biryani. We are mixing it well. Tuna biryani. This, it looks lovely. And here you have the tuna chunks in it and a typical beautiful Asian biryani but with tuna. So I'm going to have my biryani now. See you next time with some new video. Bye bye.